Not all donated goods are created equal. So while you're doing your spring cleaning, and you are, aren't you? <laughs> yes. You might be surprised what actually happens to your donated items once you drop them off at Goodwill. Denver 7's Adam Hammond shows us some behind-the-scenes secrets. At some point pretty soon, you may find yourself here. Rolling through the Goodwill donation drop-off like Jeff Huber. We were cleaning out the garage, cleaning out the closets, and we wanted to donate to a good cause. He's donating all of this, including this suit, hoping it helps someone land a job. But before it can be bought, this suit and other donations will go through a process behind the scenes. This is where all of our donations get placed in these blue bins, and once they're full, they take them over here and they're sorted. Goodwill spokesperson Jessica Hudgens shows us what happens to Huber's suit. It's sorted into this clothing pile. These ladies are sorting them into women's, children's, and then seasonal. And then brought here to the clothing area. Next, the suit is hung and priced. Once all of our items are processed and tagged, they're tagged with certain colors. Um, and each week it's a new color, and that's how we measure how long an item has been on the store floor. Next, it's off to the sales floor. Each week it sits here, the suit's yellow tag will get a little cheaper, but if it doesn't sell in five weeks, it's sent to a new store. Anything that doesn't sell in the main stores is brought here to the outlet where shoppers can buy in bulk by the pound. Your shopping experience at the Goodwill outlet is a little different. You can't touch anything until you get the green light. Shop! Flash. And you never know what you're going to find mixed in these bins. I like the uh, antiques and yeah, the junk. Always find something good. These bins are replaced every hour and a half, and anything that doesn't sell is brought to the back, sorted by material, and recycled. I'm Adam Hammond for Denver 7.